because of the dynamic nature of the business world is uniquely risky and for well professional grooming and development we need to make a risk manager of ourselves and in doing so we cannot avoid or spend the time we are spending on risk management here on Jijin's official channel preparing us for the risky business world ahead even as we become shattered accountants and having interest in professional development or business generally. Now we will be looking at the thorough framework of risk management under methods of risk. There are so many methods of risk controlling. Methods of risk controlling is what we'll be looking at and we can talk about internal control system and when we're talking about internal control system it's a way of managing risk and is the whole system of control it can be financial it can may not be financial and it could involve physical control involve people control it could involve a lot of other things and when we put internal control systems in place it can help us to minimize and reduce risk in the business also our lab principle must not be overlooked in which we are made to understand that risk may not be totally eradicated but we can reduce it to the barest minimum our lab states that as low as reasonably practicable in risk management and control. Now let's look at Tara framework under corporate strategic management and ethics CSME methods of controlling risk. If you are yet to subscribe, please, if you are just joining us, you are welcome and we love that you subscribe. Please click on for notifications so that anytime we upload, you can receive from us. By the way, my name is Bingo Latinji for those that are just joining us. We go into the business of the day looking at Tara framework. The first unique word from the word Tara is... And it stands for transfer of risk, risk transfer. So risk could be transferred. And how do we transfer risk? When we have identified risk, we've assessed it and evaluated it, we can choose to transfer our risk. By transferring risk, it means that we are not allowing it to, to stay by way of acceptance, even though we've acknowledged it. Transfer. And we ensure an aspect of our risk in business, business risk. That one is well taken care of. If anything happened along the line, all we need to do is to contact our insurance manager or insurance broker. And also because everywhere there is risk in the business world, even the insurers do reinsure so that even the risk indemnity that can be called upon at any time, they too we share it with other professional in insurance business so that is how to transfer risk then the second one of tara simply is avoidance risk avoidance and this simply means that we are not accepting this risk or acknowledging it we've chosen to go away from it or choosing it goes away from us either way 
So it simply means we are running away from it. Maybe in form of we are not even going into that business. We believe that it's too risky for us and our principle cannot work. So we decided not to go into that business at all. Or paradventure we've been in that business before. We now chose to quit and leave the industry because the risk is too high for us. This may not really be too professional in nature when such a case happened. But nevertheless, we've seen it happening in the world in which some businesses chose to leave the industry and do some other things. Why not if the risk is too high? For us, we, we can choose to leave the industry and do some other things with our capital. So that is avoidance. We've spoken about T representing transfer, A representing avoidance. The next one is HAR, which stands for risk reduction. A risk can be reduced, in fact, to the barest minimum. And when we are reducing risk, like the internal control system that we talk about, can be of greater help, in which we put physical control, arithmetic control, we put human control, we put logical control, information system control. And when we put all this together, we are ensuring risk reduction as, as low as practicable. So this is risk reduction. Risk can be reduced, especially using internal, putting internal control systems in place. And also risk can be accepted. Acceptance of risk in which we do nothing about it. We hone it. We acknowledge it we agree it exists in our industry and particularly in our business and we are evaluated we've evaluated it and we've come to conclusion that it's not too high a risk that if it happens we are able to live with example is if we go into selling of kerosene it could be called, is this a petroleum product? Could be called so many names, but let's say kerosene. We are selling kerosene and there, therefore there must be spillage. So if we don't want to go into the kerosene, then we can decide to avoid it. That will be avoidance, but we can accept that it is natural for kerosene to sell when we are transferring it from one container into the other but we can reduce it to the barest minimum so we accept we own the risk we own the risk that is risk acceptance so we had spoken about t representing transfer we have spoken about a representing avoidance We've spoken about how representing reduction. We've spoken about A representing acceptance. There's still a lot more about risk management to talk about. We've discussed risk concepts already. And we'll be moving on to the next, which is identification assessment and measurement of risk. And under this, there are a lot to be looked out for. We are going to be talking about risk identification, the impact of risk on stakeholders, assessing risk impact and the probability of occurrence. We are going to look at the measuring risk, the objective side and the subjective side. We are going to look at prioritizing the risk for management purposes. We are going to look at the role of the board in identifying and assessing risk. HALAP principle have been discussed before, but we are going to revisit it. We are going to look at the subjective and objective risk perception and the correlation and relationship between risk factor. 
Yes, a lot I yet to unfold on the Gen Strategy channel as regards risk management. So join us and subscribe to the channel as we look out to the next tutorial. From the Gen Strategy channel, bring a lot into my name. We pride ourselves that we are valued to life, we are valued to your business.